With the second generation Acura NSX ending production just this past month, Honda's performance manufacturing center has a lot of idle hands. Not anymore. They're going to be building fuel cells. Let's get into it. <laughs> Over at the Honda newsroom, Honda began U.S. production of fuel cell electric vehicles in 2024. Welcome to the channel. My name's Kirk. I have two YouTube channels. My first one focuses Japanese and Korean cars, and the second one focuses on electrified vehicles, anywhere from fuel cells to battery electric hybrids, all that good stuff. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't want to miss all my updates. I'm also doing a video today on the BMW end of things. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Honda began US production of fuel cell electric vehicles in 2024. This is not like somewhere out in the future. This vehicle might even be able to come out alongside of the new prologue to be built with General Motors. This is not to be built with General Motors. This will be coming out of the Performance Manufacturing Center. So let's read the bullet points and move on. New fuel cell EV will be based on the all new CRV. The CRV hybrid just drove it fantastic hybrid. It's not maybe quite as efficient as Toyota's hybrids, for example, but the smoothness, it has that smoothness to it. Uh, it's just it's butter. Anyways, adding zero emissions and EV driving performance to America's best-selling CUV of the past quarter century. Production will occur at the PMC in Ohio, known for building small volume specialty vehicles. I already mentioned the NSX. Rest in, pe rest in peace, NSX. First North American fuel cell EV to adopt a plug-in feature for EV driving. This is, I've been waiting for something like this to come to the market. Not that I have hydrogen here in Florida to fill it up. I mean, I'd have to... <laughs> have to run an EV mode and plug it in at home all the time. So this is a pretty cool feature that is definitely a big part of the future. Look, if you look at the Toyota Mirai, watch my re review on it. I got a chance to drive that vehicle. And I said, it's arguably Toyota's best vehicle in their lineup. It is an amazing car. The problem is, well, no one, it's like forbidden fruit, unless you happen to live around a hydrogen fueling station in like California or I, I don't know, Hawaii or something, but it is amazing. And it has a small lithium ion battery pack in it. And it's very much kind of like Toyota's hybrid. So that where the fuel cell stack kind of acts as a replacement for the gasoline engine. So that that engine of that fuel cell stack can directly power uh, the electric motors. And it can also help top off that battery pack. So that battery cap pack can assist with propulsion and also recapture energy. It's an amazing system. It's super fascinating. Anyways, 100% of Honda's global auto sales will be electrified BEVs or fuel cells by 2040. So they're not messing around on the fuel cell end as well. They're like, hey, we're, we're putting out two products in the same year that is going to be a foreshadowing of our entire lineup by 2040 of fuel cell, as well as the Prologue, which is battery electric. More details about the all-new fuel cell EV version of the CRV will be announced closer to its introduction in 2024. So what am I looking for in this fuel cell plug-in EV? Well, I'm looking for probably around 200 horsepower. I don't think that's out of the equation. Look at the current CRV hybrid, around 200 horsepower. More than likely, it will be front-wheel drive only as maybe that uh, drive shaft that powers the rear wheels and like the CRV hybrid. It maybe it just doesn't have a place uh, with the battery pack being so big for the plug-in hybrid how much uh, a range are we going to expect from the ev end of it should i say that the battery pack end of it 35 to 40 i think is more than acceptable anymore would just be gravy and then you would also have the extended range of the the fuel cell system the mirai can get like 600 miles of range which is absurd there's also this vehicle here the hyperion x1 gets a thousand miles of range it's a hydrogen vehicle 2000 horsepower this thing is just insane and it is kind of a snapshot of the future let's say the the fuel cell end of it will give you 400 500 miles of range and the plug-in hybrid or the plug-in battery will give you 40 miles of range so we're talking probably 400 to 500 miles of range total that's just my expectations for this vehicle. Now, Honda has a big write-up here of their, their history with fuel cells. So feel free to pause here. I'm not gonna go down that. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this vehicle. It's still about two years away at this point, but it's something to get excited for. Honda is also unveiling next generation technologies of Honda Sensing 360 and Sensing Elite. So these new functions will be applied globally starting in 2024. 
the Honda Sensing Elite will come in the mid 2020s, and this will be like a level three uh, automated driving technology. So we're not that far away. But going back to the Sensing 360, it's already beginning in 2022, starting in China. This will realize new functions to reduce driver burden by detecting abnormal conditions occurring to the driver and vehicle surrounding to prevent collisions. I'll put the link in the description if you want to read more about this technology from Honda. I think their new Honda Sensing is already one of the best out there on the market with its lane recognition and uh, steering assist. It's really, really good. So Honda, continue to evolve your sensing technology. I'm all for it. Maybe like Tesla, they can get a little bit of money from their automated driving when that comes out in the mid 2020s. But I'm going to end it there. Are you excited about fuel cells? I am. I think it's a bigger part of long-term future while well, long-term is relative. So maybe 20, 30 years from now, as we'll find ways to make green hydrogen and use hydrogen as a storage medium where we don't need to mine all these battery packs. Let your imagination run wild, but it's definitely part of the future. But I'm going to end it there, signing out from my second channel, my new channel. Thank you guys for coming over to Kirk E Cars, where I talk about electrified vehicles now and in the future. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves and peace.